Welcome back to a new vlog. I hope you're all doing super well. So I thought I'd pick up the camera this week as I have some really nice things planned. I'm also going to my first ever gala red carpet event tomorrow night in London and I've been feeling so anxious about it. Um, so it's basically with LTK who do the like reward style, like you know I have my shopping profile um, where I link up to the everything, they're hosting this beautiful gala and it's at the National History Museum which is an absolutely insane location. So yeah, really looking forward to that. So I've managed to fake tan. I'm heading into Birmingham now to get my nails done. I'm going to get some, probably another fresh French manicure but I'm having Boyab on because my nails are getting quite thin underneath so I'm going to have Boyab today but I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. I'm not going to try it on yet, I've already tried it on. I need to go and run and get a train to go into Birmingham but I need to like steam it all later so I'll try it on for you later but I've been trying to like find something because it's like red carpet glam I'm not, I always say I'm not a dressy girl, so for me, this dress is so dressy. Um, and I was like, is it too OTT when I tried it on in front of Russ? Like, no, no, it's really simple, really classy. Um, but yeah, I'll show you quickly now. So it's a really simple long black dress. So excuse the bedding on there. But what makes it different is that it has this beautiful bow on the back which goes all the way to the floor excuse the mess everywhere but yeah it's absolutely stunning there you go that's a bit of a better look at the back so it's got an open back here it's from a brand called club l london so it's still got all the tags in i need to give this a good steam also this bit is like longer than the train so i'm going to sort of like loop it over my arm which looks really nice and then yeah i can sort of drop it down for photos these are the shoes i'm thinking of wearing i've got a bad knee at the moment so i'm not doing nothing crazy i've got two shoe options so these are from river island so i've gone for something like with two sort of straps because i'm useless with heels and then the other ones are sort of like lower block heel from new look which i need to try on so i'm going to take two pairs of shoes just in case i've also ordered a new bag probably about a week ago it's like a little simple like rhinestone little clutch bag which sort of like loops on your arm and it's still not come yet and i'm like oh my god like i don't know what bag i'm gonna wear if that doesn't come today i've just checked the tracking and it just says tracking pending so i take that's not gonna come today and i've got to go to london tomorrow in the morning so i've got no chance of grabbing it before I go. So I'm gonna have a little mooch around Birmingham. I do have some little evening bags and some sparkly ones. So I'm gonna see what I've got already, but I just can't think of anything I have off the top of my head. So that's the only thing I'm stressing over. I need to also figure out my jewelry. And then before the event in the evening time, I'm going for a blow dry with Ryan, of course. I was like, oh my God, I need you to do my hair. I've got a gala, I don't know how to have my hair, but I'm thinking like, because the back of the dress is like open and the bow detail, I didn't know whether to sort of have like a bouncy blow, maybe go to the side, have my hair up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what Ryan can do, but I'm sure we'll figure it out together. But yeah, I better dash now because I need to go and run and get my train, go and get my nails done, then pick up some new makeup bits too. So I've just got back home now and look how fresh my nails are. Honestly, I absolutely love a classic French manicure. There's just something that is just so clean about it. But I had Boyab on it, so it's a little bit thicker because last time I went, you know when they sort of like overbuff your nails, the one girl sort of like really overfiled it and these two nails were like really sore. So it's sort of like a wait for this to grow out. But we thought we'd go with Boyab to just strengthen those bits, but I think Boyab also looks super clean too. So I managed to grab all the little bits that I needed to get. My handbag has still not arrived, so I don't know what I'm gonna use in my handbag. So I thought I'd quickly try on the dress. 
so you guys have a little sneak peek you'll probably see it tomorrow but i'm not sure how much i'm gonna try and like vlog as much as i can but i know at these sort of like events and whatnot you get very much like caught up in the moment i end up sort of like taking it all in that i forget to then like create content and document it i sort of like to enjoy it too so yeah i'm gonna try it all on and then give it a good steam so i'm just gonna adjust the camera so you can see it full length so it might be a bit echoey. So this is the dress, absolutely stunning. And then this is the back. So at first I was like, is this too extra? This bit is quite long. So I was gonna see if I could get it altered and never got time. So I think what I'm gonna do is just sort of like, have it down like for photos and whatnot. Um, but then I can sort of like loop it on my arm like this, which I think looks, really classy i mean look at the bow it's so pretty i just don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair i'm just gonna leave it up to ryan and see what he thinks but i feel like i need to sort of have like sort of like half or half day and i'm sort of like an updo but he's washing my hair as well and having a blow dry so really my hair probably needs to be dirty to do like an updo but i don't know i'll leave it with him because he's amazing but yeah the bow is also detachable as well. So at least, I know this will probably get absolutely trashed. So at least I can sort of like soak this maybe in the bath, like the ends of it, like in some fairy liquid or whatnot, just to pull it out. But I just need to give it all a good steam and pop it in a garment bag. But the neckline is super flattering too. I have already got a layer of tan on. So I've popped on the Tan Lux Hydra Mousse, like my go-to tan. But they do do a Hydra Glow Super Glow Body Serum, which is sort of like hyaluronic acid in it. So I feel like my skin after fake tan always looks dry. So I feel like tonight I'm gonna pop on some gradual, but use a hyaluronic to sort of give my skin some moisture and then literally wash it off in the morning and then wash it off again, um, have another shower before the event. But yeah, she's so pretty. I just need to figure out what bag I'm gonna wear. I'm thinking, I just had a thought because I was on the phone to my mom, stressing over this handbag. I do have my little pearl handbag, which I wore on my wedding day, which is like a little, I put a little picture on so you can see. So it's like a little bucket bag. So I feel like that might look quite nice if I just sort of hold the pearls like here um, as I'm holding the bow. So I feel like the pearls will work with this, I hope. So yeah, my mum was like, why don't you just use that bag? And I was like, I forgot that I had that bag. Cause the other one was like sparkly and rhinestones but i think i'm gonna wear also my wedding earrings which were like a little pearl um they're from a brand called i think it was lily rue and they're like literally silver with diamantes pearl but you'll see it when i get ready i just need to find those bits out so yeah i got this dress in the i think this is a size eight so it's from a brand called club l london never shopped from them before i did order a few different dresses but this was more of their like premium style like evening dress and the quality is a lot better. So I do prefer them. So yeah, this is me all glam. I'm gonna be like this all night. It's gonna be a proper red carpet. So I hope someone helps me adjust my bow. But yeah, I'm gonna get all sorted, pack my case and I'll see you tomorrow. just checked in to my hotel my hair is feeling so nice he absolutely loved my colour 
Um, so we ended up doing a blow dry and then just tonguing it to sort of hold it because we thought we'll do something that's more a bit wavy because I don't wear it down that much. It's like it'd be a shame to sort of like pull your hair to the side and pull it up. And we thought it'd be quite nice as well. Like if I'm having photos and whatnot, I could just pull my hair to the sides. I love my little front bits as well here. So yeah, we wanted to just do that. So he's hairsprayed the life out of it. Um, it's only just gone, it's just gone two o'clock now, so I managed to check in early. But I'm gonna go and see if I can get a handbag. I've just checked into the uh, Millennium Gloucester Hotel and with LTK, so they've checked us in here. There's quite a few influencers staying here who aren't from London and traveling, which is really kind of them because, yeah, as soon as I saw the event, I was honestly so excited. And then I was like, oh, I have to try and sort of a hotel. And that's always like a last minute sort of faff too. So really grateful that they put me in a hotel. The nearest place to go shopping here is obviously you've got like Kensington, and whatnot, but I'm thinking of going to Shepherd's Bush and maybe grab some like lunch over there um, and bring it back with me and I'll slowly get ready. Um, I'm just gonna have a little look to see if I can find another bag. I also want to get some of the um, Elizabeth Arden body oil. In one layer of Tan Looks Tan, and then last night I put on some gradual um, super glow instead, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm probably not tanned enough because I'm naturally quite pale. If I put like two layers of tan on, I literally look so orange. Um, so I'm gonna get some of the Elizabeth Arden like rose, um, not rose, these sort of like glitter, they do like a body oil, I've seen it on TikTok. So I'm gonna see if I can get it from Boots in Shepherd's Bush. Again today I've gone for usual comfort when I'm in London, it's a, literally a jumper, this cashmere one is from Arquette, my warehouse trainers and my sandwiches, like that is just my go-to uniform whenever I come to London. So I also didn't think this through, I haven't got a black coat. Um, <laughs> So I was like, oh yeah, oh, there'll be a cloakroom there. And I thought, crap, I've got my dress, but I've not thought about what I'm putting over the top. So I've got my grey coat, which might be fine, but I'm gonna go and see if I can just pick up a new black coat, just so I'm just all black and all look smart. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed my hair stays. I also need to steam my dress again. I had it in a dress bag, but because I've literally had my suitcase, lugging everything, I think it sort of fell off the hanger and all crumpled. But luckily I bought my steamer with me. I am never without my steamer. So I just need to, go over the bow, but I thought I'd do just a little room tour. Um, it's got like a nice little arch there actually. Adds lots of character, but yeah, this is like a deluxe room, so I've got lots of space to get ready. Um, a TV over there, there's also an interjoining door, which stresses me out. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I hate it when there's an interjoining door, it freaks me out. You can literally just see the National History Museum just there, so super close for tonight. So I'm back at the hotel now, so I've just clipped these little front bits. I need to just like take my base makeup off. Um, so I just put on just a little bit of foundation and concealer because I didn't want to go into Hershens looking like with nothing on my skin. So I just left my eye makeup off. But to be fair, the shopping trip was a bit of a fail. I managed to pick up a coat. Um, I've got a simple black wrap coat from Mango, which is in the sale, which is like a wool blend, so perfect. They, I went to Boots, hence I went to Westfield because I need Elizabeth Arden and they didn't have the body oil in stock, it's always out of stock. So I put some on my hand and it was just so nice, it was exactly what I needed. But I had a little mooch around Boots and instead I picked up a tan blending brush and I don't know what it's like, I'm a bit scared actually. I'm going to try it on my legs first. I picked up this glow oil, it's a body illuminator from Samaritz. Um, so yeah, no idea <laughs> what that's going to be like but I'll just like sort of test it on my legs first because you're not going to see my legs because my dress is long and then I also picked up some body lotion I got the Sol Janeiro famous cream this is the the retinol and KK oil one um, so I thought if I use this my skin will be like hopefully 
super hydrated and um, I have got my Elizabeth on 8 hour cream with me but I feel like I just needed something thicker for tonight and this smells absolutely amazing I was literally um testing it in the store and I was like I'm just gonna get one of these because I've wanted this cream for ages but it's so thick and smells incredible so I'm gonna have a quick like body shower try not to get too much steam on my hair it has like dropped a little bit but that's why we sort of like tonged it just so it was sort of like more undone and loose but yeah see how that goes so i'm gonna jump in the shower what time is it now so it's just gone quarter past five the gala we have to be there the entry for the red carpet is between quarter to seven and quarter past seven so it's literally got like 10 minutes away so i don't know whether just to go downstairs about half six i've seen some people that are also staying here so i'm gonna see if we can just jump in the car together or whatnot um but yeah i can start getting my glam on now so i've just cleansed and I've done my skincare i'm also looking at the time thinking I feel like I've not left myself enough time to get ready because <laughs> I'm trying to do like nice glam makeup. So I feel like I always do this. I literally over predict what time I've got. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go in, let this soak in a sec. Um, so I think skincare I've just used. Um, this is a really nice hydrating mist. And then I've gone in with Hyaluronic um, on my eyes as well. Then the quarterly. Um, also obsessed with this water cream it literally it's the water gel moisturizer and for underneath makeup it's just yes yeah, so like I've literally nearly run out of it So for my base, I've just done the Armani Luminous Silk with the concealer, and then I'm gonna go in with these contour sticks, which are my absolute favorite. I'm just having a bit of a mare, because you know when you get ready at home and you have your own little system and whatnot, and then when I come out for a hotel and my pack, and then it starts getting crazy, and now I'm like flapping because like time's going. I just need to chill out. Um, but I've been starting to apply these just with a brush, so I do it on the brush first and then onto my skin. Then for my eyes, I've just gone in with some bronzer and the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerate Eyes. I have got some brown liquid eyeliner with me, which I'm gonna do now without filming because I'm gonna mess that up. I've just gone for like a chocolate brown, it's gonna do a slight wing. Why is winged eyeliner so hard to do? I've also got this white pencil as well, which I'm gonna use on the insides of my eyes just to brighten the waterline. Then for my lip combo, I'm gonna go with the Armani. This is the shade 117. It's a really beautiful, nudie pink shade. And then I'm gonna go in with, I'll do the lip liner first. This is the Lip Cheat Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. And then of course the famous lip injection. My camera is literally gonna die now. So I'm gonna put this on charge so I've got enough for the evening. Okay, so excuse this mirror situation. This brain bit is literally in the way. But I'm all ready. I'm just going to go with this pearl bag. I'm not sure whether to take the gold strap off or not. But there's a better look at the bow. Hair's lasted all okay. Um, yeah, excited. And literally, I've just found out, Georgia just messaged me and I haven't seen her for so long and she's coming tonight. I wasn't sure what other creators are coming and now that Georgia's coming, I'm like, oh my God, yay. Loving the dress. I've got some Spanx on underneath. Um, I'm not sure what to do about this strap. I think I might just keep it like that. I think it looks quite nice having the strap dangling down. And then for my shoes, I've gone for Ultra Comfort. 
These are from New Look and yeah, they do the comfiest shoes and they're sort of a block heel as well. So I don't want to be a cripple. And also I'd like to see my other accessory, which is hilarious. I've literally done a tendon in my knee, which is so sore, my leg is swollen. Um, and I've got a knee brace on. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, I'm all ready and so excited. My first proper like red carpet gala event. Honestly, pinch me. I just never sleep well in hotels and yeah I'm just absolutely knackered but had such an amazing night I think yeah absolutely I've never I've never done anything like that before that's the biggest event I've ever done with red carpet gala and to see so many creators that you know online I feel like every creator was there because so many of us use LTK and there's creators from like all over the world there were so many amazing brands there so busy insane location like the national history museum like incredible so yeah it was a light one last night um i feel like i didn't really vlog as much i was just sort of like very it's very overwhelming like i've never done anything like that before and i'm like oh my god like i sort of get like imposter syndrome oh my god i shouldn't be here i don't feel good enough to be here i'm always so like oh my god like but i felt so good in my dress which was really nice um yeah really lovely so we're gonna go down for breakfast i've also got like so much stuff to take back with me so i've got the bits that i picked up yesterday i didn't end up using that friggin summer it's like body tan and rushed out yesterday but i'm glad i got my black coat so it's a really nice buy as well it was in the sale so yeah <laughs> so that's more stuff i need to take back but ltk i've got two amazing goodie bags so there's one here and i've just had a little sneak peek inside and it's got, I just saw the Stanley packaging. There's a Stanley cup in there. And I've got a dupe of a Stanley cup, so I've actually got a Stanley cup now. And then I've got a massive bag of goodies from Space NK. So I went and had my makeup touched up with them in their little glam room, which was really nice. And um, I've never tried, I tried out some of the Rare Beauty blushes and highlights, which I've wanted to try for ages. And she put some like shimmer on my shoulders and yes, yeah, so nice. So I'm very excited to see what's in that goodie bag. So when I get home and whatnot, I'll do a little unboxing and then link it for you. I've also linked my outfit um, from last night. I feel like my Club London dress is probably sold out now, but I've linked loads of similar ones. So if any of you guys have got any like evening events but even like black tie events gala style i think you can't go wrong with a black dress and that just worked perfectly and they got so many good dresses and so many people were wearing their dresses there's lots of club london lots of Medine, sorry nadine marabi um what else was there now people were in karen millen they had like so many amazing brands there but it was just really hard to try and get around to talk to people because it was just yeah like so busy and so grateful but yeah i just sort of like pinching myself this morning like oh my god i can't believe i did that because it's so out of my comfort zone like oh my god i'm so glad i found georgia as well i was like oh my god georgia I haven't seen her for so long so i'm actually seeing her over the weekend and um, we're going down to like um, albans tomorrow because she's just got a dog she's got a rescue frenchie from hungary um i think it's hungary so yeah i'm gonna go and meet sophie tomorrow i can't wait to meet her um, but yeah, I'm going to go head down for breakfast now. There's some of the guys from my agency here. I'm just going to grab some breakfast. Everyone's feeling a bit worse away this morning. So I've just got back home. Hugo, it's lip balm. 
It's lip balm. My lips are so dry. My lips are so dry. I know it smells nice. It's obsessed with whatever I put lip balm on. Any little piggy noises. Any little piggy. It's lip balm. Don't lick it. I know it smells nice, but it doesn't mean it tastes nice. Oh, did you miss mummy? Was you a good boy for daddy last night? Was you a good boy? Did you miss mummy? It's mummy your number one friend. He's the best person home there. Literally, Russ is like, you're home now, so you don't want to know me. <laughs> you're such a baby, aren't you? Um, honestly, I look so... Sorry, the lighting's really... Really, really... Let me just try to sit at an angle. Excuse the... That's where, obviously, Russ was sitting last night. Um, let me try and put my camera on the windowsill, because I want to do an unboxing of the Space NK bag. But I can't believe it. I literally put... How have I only just discovered the Clinique Black Honey? Like, I've had it for ages in my makeup bag, and I was like, I've not tried it yet. And I thought, oh, I'll just throw it in today, because I went down yesterday, like, sort of, like, really minimal makeup, getting my hair done. So I was like, oh, I'll get quite a nice lip balm on. Just so I look a little bit more human. And, oh, my God, like, it just looks so nice. I don't know what it, what it is. Or I, there is, um, I have got the pink honey one as well. Um... But yeah, it's really like nourishing. I've been constantly putting it on today. It's like really nice. Oh, Hugo, you've slobbered all over the bag. It's all soggy now. You've slobbered all over it. God, guys, I'm so tired. I am just not. Honestly, I'm such a homebody. I'm such a homegirl. And I feel like I'm such a. Is it an introvert? Like when I go out and socialise like that. I don't want to speak to anyone now. <laughs> it sounds horrible. I just, I'm just not used to it. I think it's because I work from home. Got to stay in my hair. What's going on? Um, I work from home, and it, it was an incredible, incredible event. Like the nicest thing I've ever been to, but so overwhelming. Like it was, it was so nice, and I'm honestly so grateful. But it, it is like I feel like, yeah, I was so stressed yesterday. Like what to wear, makeup, and what to expect. And there's like. They had like lots of press there, there was paps there, it was all very like, oh my god. Like, yeah, there was a lot going on. Um, there was like different, um, there was like magazines as well, like it was a crazy event. So, <laughs> it's definitely, yeah, the first one they've ever done, which they must have spent so much money. Like to hire out the National History Museum for an event. And there was literally like, the whole thing, like, it was insane. Thought I'd quickly, I'm rambling there because I'm honestly so exhausted. I think the light's okay. I'll get the camera here. Just ignore Russ's and Hugo's pits from last night. So I'm going to see what colour Stanley Cup I've got. Because as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God. Stanley Cup, are you going to help then? What colour is it? Ooh, I feel like it's a black one. Or, oh no, it's this. Oh, I actually really wanted this colour. How nice is that? What's your bum, Hugo? Oh, I've actually got a proper one now. So funny. I've only won for ages. Oh, this one's a lot more sturdier. I've got my actual, my, my dupe one off TikTok shop. Because I was like, I'm not spending £45 on a cup. Like, I'm just going to have the TikTok shop dupe. Like, they're lovely cups, but come on, £45 on a cup. So, thank you, LTK and Stanley. I finally have my... Russ actually calls them... That's hilarious. He calls it a twat cup. Because <laughs> he's just like, every influencer is walking with their Pilates and the little cup. I only have mine at home, actually. I don't really take it anywhere with me because it's quite, it's quite heavy and quite bulky. And I feel like this straw thing as well, like, where do you... You're just walking around with the straw thing. So... Yeah, but very excited about my Stanley Cup. So much stuff in here. Honestly, insane. Like, wow, the team at Space and K was so nice. So there's a, I've got this already, it's amazing. This is the Quarterly Beauty Alexa. This is so nice to spritz on your face. Sort of like as a refresh of your makeup, even if you're having a makeup day, like if you're traveling, handbag, it's just a really nice, like smoothing, glowing mist. So super nice. We've then got the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. And I've never tried that before. I feel, I mean, I've been sort of, I've not really used many toners at the moment because 
Since I had a bit of a weird breakout and loads of dryness and flaking on my skin, I think I damaged my barrier, my skin barrier from over exfoliating and over, because a lot some of the toners I had, which are all acids, because they exfoliate as well. So the one I was using, I think it was just the red one, which I've never had a problem before. I just started like really like peeling and my skin barrier must have been damaged and it's been fine now. Literally Elizabeth Arden, eight hour cream. Just lock it all in. <laughs> I had that on my face for days. The bottom of my face was just so shiny. I was like, what have you got on your face? I was like, this is the only cream that's going to heal it. And it went straight away. And this is the, I actually was looking at this yesterday. <laughs> I was going to buy this yesterday. I'm so glad I didn't. Um, so this is the Brazilian Crush by, what's the brand? Sol Gennaro, is it called the brand? Um, but this is their Perfume Mist. It's meant to smell really good. There's so much in here. Then, oh my god, then this is the Chris Appleton Colourway Money. Can you see? What are you doing? Um, mask for super glossy, expensive looking hair. That's new. I've never seen this before. Money mask. It's your rags to riches texture solution. This deep hydrating treatment, rich in Mediterranean plant based proteins, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, helps deliver super glossy, supple, expensive looking hair. Contains Proprietary, I can't read that complex, which complex to anchor roots and lessen hair loss. Direction shampoo, remove excess moisture, apply generous amount of hair, massage through, leave on for three to, oh, I'm definitely going to use at the weekend. Use once a week or every three shampoos as needed. I mean, I love Chris Appleton. Colour out is just insane. And then this, honestly, so much stuff in there, like so much good stuff. Hair by Sam Knight. I've wanted to try this as well. I wanted to try the hair. I've never actually tried any of their products, but I see so many people using them. Yeah, so Hair by Sam McKnight, Light Cleanse, Hair and Scalp Shampoo, and the Conditioner. So a little travel, perfect for whenever I'm next staying away. Then we've got the, I've seen Natrium Niacinamide Serum, 12% plus zinc. This is really good. I've got um, Niacinamide in my um, Dermatica. It's got Niacinamide, 12%, zinc, PCA, 2%. Hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin E. See, I just love multi products, especially a serum like that. It's also vegan and dermatologist tested. So, yeah, I've seen lo this brand a lot on TikTok. Like Spice and Kate, I've got so many brands on there. One of the, I had, um, I think I already mentioned already, I tried these Summer Fridays um, lip oils. I've got Summer Friday product. Oh, so this is Summer Fridays and this is their Rich Cushion. Cream Ultra Plumping Moisturiser. Absolutely spoiled. There's so much product here. Like they're all big sizes as well. Oh, that smells so nice. That's like a really, really good, like, I love a thick cream like this to sort of like slug on at the end of your skincare at night time. <laughs> Literally. Just to lock all your goodness in, all your serums in. Then we've got a Ultra Violet hydrating lip balm i've seen this brand before as well i feel like i see so much beauty stuff more on tiktok like i feel like i've learned quite a bit of skincare from tiktok as well um then we've got the vive skin nova instant radiance primer I swear this packaging looks familiar as well it's probably my makeup on tiktok then oh we've got a little olaplex here i've got the bonding oil from olaplex and then finally we've got yes this brand as well i've got some um what's called um, concealer coming from this brand, Kozas. Is this something to do with, I swear it's either Hailey Bieber's like favorite. I swear I've seen something with Hailey Bieber in this brand. Um, even on TikTok, like her use, I'm sure it's a concealer or maybe the lip colors, but this is the whitest lip color, nourishing satin lipstick in the shade Fantasy Life Neutral Baby Pink, which is quite nice. So yeah, I'm excited to try the concealer. I've got like a sort of box in um, my room upstairs um, with just products that I need to try. Um, so all this is going straight in. Like I wanted to try this for, I just need to be careful. Yeah, I don't I don't tone every day. My, my skin just doesn't, I used to, I just, at the moment my skin just not, I don't know if it's because I'm using retinol and obviously retinol is a, will help strip back, exfoliate your skin gets rid of dead skin cells, you know what I mean? So I feel like maybe doing that and then that, I think I just need to exfoliate or use toner in the morning, not after I've used retinol, like the morning after, like a couple of days after, maybe like 
yeah, when on the days where I don't, so I do retinol, then break and just do my normal serums. Then I do my Dermatica, then I have a break again, then I do retinol. So on those days in between, I can maybe try and do this. So yeah, that is all the amazing goodies from Space NK and LTK. I love my little cup. Russ is gonna howl when he sees this. It's so much nicer than my jute one. My jute one's fine, it does the drop. And I dropped the frigging jute one on the tiles the other day. I thought I'd break the kitchen tiles. I was like, I don't know, you know when you sort of drop something you don't want to look. But yeah, I've got my little Stanley cup now. I'm gonna fill this up because I'm driving to see Georgia tomorrow and Leon St. Albans. I'm so tired. And we was gonna stay over. We normally stay down there at theirs. Um, but I'm just struggling for cover Hugh, for Hugo because we have a dog sitter. Um, and she's incredible because obviously he's IBDD. I can't just drop him off at my mom's like I used to before. And like he used to play with the dogs. Like he doesn't go to his parents anymore. Like, do you know what I mean? He's very, he's a special dog now. Um, so he has to have a look at his little legs. Special care. So obviously I have a, a dog sitter and she's incredible. Um, and she just stays here. She's super lovely. She's trying to be a vet as well. She's at university being like trying to be a vet. So perfect like she's so thingy with him i know sometimes people have commented on my videos actually um especially on instagram like saying what's wrong with your dog's legs um obviously it's been nearly two years since his spine surgery now which is mad like i remember god blogging and that that just trauma was horrendous um so look at him now he's come so far such a precious boy um so yeah basically long story short he had a disc explode in his back out of nowhere frenchies are so common to it so if you've got a french bulldog please 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 do your research on ibdd no running upstairs no downstairs no jumping on furniture these dogs are lunatics is what they're like they think that they are built like a bulldog they think they're solid but they've honestly look at him they've got bodies of a china doll like their spines are a lot worse than dash hounds and these guys do it in their sleep it's just it's just where they're basically their discs dehydrate from an early age the prime time for ibdd in a french bulldog is between two and three he was nearly three when it happened so yeah if you do have a frenchie please 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 look into ibdd but yeah he was paralyzed um learned to sort of walk wheels again but he sort of couldn't get the like signal to he, he he was really really bad he was completely off his back legs like we did they didn't think he'd walk again so look at him now he's just a trooper um so he's basically he walks like this so he can't bend his back legs because he doesn't have obviously when he was recovering we could tickle his feet and he was doing it like he's sort of moving up but then because he couldn't like if he has an itch he couldn't do it and because he wasn't using the leg to bend like i was constantly trying to bend his legs doing bicycles about four or five times a day i got really obsessed and really worried about his legs and they just kept stiffening up and then i just said to me look he's got nerve damage there he had a lot of bad sprues into the spine like he'll sort of probably let him adapt where he wants to adapt so like he has laser and obviously massage him and whatnot he's not in pain with his legs he's honestly a super happy dog um and he sort of uses his legs sort of like as like who call my brother calls him a tripod as balanced he's just adapted like he's so strong now you can pull himself on the sofa he just sort of skips with his legs because they don't bend and when he's on a walk he wears his special boots but where we actually live um there's two other people also live where we do that have had the same thing happen to their frenchies like and well, we were walking hugo the other day and we saw one and she's got hers on the sling and his back legs are stuck hugo's are sort of like straight but hers are stuck this way and he can't stand up and he can't she's got wheels for him which she can't do in the wheels and i think he was about four um so it's just honestly i think since obviously with covid like he was from a really good breed i don't think it matters where it's from the breed it's just the breed um like with any other breeds like you have like certain dogs which are prone to certain things like dachshunds are also prone to ibdd um but yeah if you've got a frenchie then please just be careful but even over exertion as well like we used to like obviously go on long walks and whatnot they're just they're just not built for that they're just not designed for that and over exertion when they're it's, it's hard because if you've got a french bulldog they're just nutters like he goes some stupid stuff he used to jump off stupid like i'll be like try and stop him and he just yeah they're, they're honestly their own worst enemy but then i wouldn't change them for the world because they're honestly the best i always say they're the best breed they have such good personalities and they're such loving dogs and i'm honestly so so excited to meet little sophie tomorrow i literally can't wait to meet her 
um george's rescue frenchy so yeah that'll be super nice so i'm gonna stop rambling now i just have some work bits i need to finish off um some emails to send because it's friday finish off a youtube video and then yeah gotta drive down tomorrow to st albans Good morning. So we are en route to go and see Leon and Georgia. I'm being a passenger princess today. What's this driving today? And my knee is really sore. I don't know what I've done to it. So I think when I'm wearing heels with the gala, it's just, yeah, my knee is really sore. So I'm being a passenger princess today. I've got my little, well, not little, massive Stanley cup. It doesn't, it's annoying. Like it fits, but like, how do people have them in the car? See, the American cup holders are a lot bigger because it's designed in America. So it, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, there you go, guys. Interesting facts. But yeah, I've got my Stanley Cup. Also changed my bag over to my. Obviously, we've got dog Lowy, toys. Lowy my Lowe basket, basket bag because it's sunny today. It was sunny. It feels a bit springy. Got a little cream jumper on. Also got my new see specials which are super cool. And then Russ went to Pets at Home earlier to pick up Sophie some toys. He got a little donut, which Hugo's got, I think he's got a pink one and a brown one. He's got one. a pink and a brown one, and he's got him a kiwi one. Yeah, Russ come back and he was like, oh, I've got Hugo a new toy. Um, it's Harry Styles related, and I was like, what? And then he said it, it was a kiwi. <laughs> so it's like that, but it's a kiwi. And then he got her a little cupcake. Just super cute and then just some little lilies lilies treats hugo loves those so i didn't want to get her anything that was too they're like proper meat ones so i didn't want to get any of the like thingy treats i've seen lots of things actually on tiktok about dog treats there's a guy on tiktok who does like dog nutrition he goes into like pets at home and talks about all the different treats and whatnot and yeah i think, think wad treats were meant for the worst and we always give hugo wad treats we go home bargains and literally get him like they're like on a two for so much but something to do with the I think it's like preserves or something, you know what's in it. Um, but yeah, she's got some little treats. I'm hoping, I don't know what we're doing, I don't know if we're going for food or we're just, we're not, we're not staying over because of Hugo, so we're going to go down and then come back later tonight when we're going to check Hugo. Um, does Leon? No idea, I'm just going to go no with idea. the flow. Yeah, if Leon and Joy we'll we'll just go with the flow. It was so nice to see at the event last night. I was like, I haven't seen you for ages. Um, but yeah, it'd be super nice. So we're gonna have a chill drive down now. I think we're gonna get some food as well to stop off because we've had no breakfast either. This is Sophie. Oh, She's snoozy. Baby, is he? Baby. Is he? Oh. You keep saying we have a baby, like to people like oh, baby. we got in a cab last night. Like, you, are a you are a so baby. You are a baby. Oh, oh. What's that? Do you like so it? Cute, new it's toys. Do you like it? So cute. The girly oh. toys. Oh. I'm a donut. A donut. Oh. Yummy. Come on, Vivi. Oh. You're playing. Oh, she doesn't know what to do with that. Okay. Oh, she's so precious. You're not sure. She just doesn't know how to play with him. What's this? Come on. He's play. Look, like when we throw oh, them. Oh, where are you going? When we throw them, she sort oh. of like grabs yeah. it and she doesn't know what to do. Good. Oh, there we go. Good oh. girl. There we go. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Oh, no, oh no, it's fine. I need to get her a little present. Head muffin is muffin, man. That's that's you better just kicked him ahead because of that. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, she's good. she's getting better at playing. Yeah, she, she is. is. Yeah. But she like you throw it, and she just and she runs. sort of like she runs after the toy, but then she like looks at you like, what's what yeah. we're meant to do? It's now. annoying. So I think if you know, like the crinkly toys, right. so now they're not scrunching. Yeah, and that'll be nice like. By your mummy. Oh. You're a good girl. Oh, she's oh. cute, isn't she? I want to rescue them all. Oh. 